I'm Mona Mankara, Blind Traveler. Last episode, I was celebrating Morocco's win in Casablanca. Mona on the streets. Today, I leave the city for the sand dunes of Agadir. Mona exits Agadir Airport. I feel like I can subliminally sense when the airflow changes, and so if there's like a barrier in front of me or not, or like doors. Mona scans for a door. Okay, thank you. And weaves through. Outside, Mona's driver helps her with her suitcase. I'm following the sounds of the suitcase. Car. Agadir is known for its sunshine, beaches, laid back atmosphere. A man in shades gives a thumbs up to the camera. But today, I'm going sand surfing. Boards on the sand. Mona with her instructor. Uh, what's your name? My name is Abdul. Abdul? Uh, Abdullah. Abdullah? Yeah. Okay. Charasna uh, Abdullah. Uh, yeah. They set off for the desert. We started off and it was really exciting. We just landed in a new place, a place I had never been to before, Agadir. And we had our driver and tour guide. We were gonna go to his like village town to go and learn sand surfing. And things were all good until we were getting close to our destination and the driver stopped. So I asked, what's going on? He's like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. And I'm deducing at this point that maybe it was like police, whatever. So then, I noticed that the guy, the police officer, was bullying the driver and that he was like forcing him to pay. And the guy kept on saying, I won't pay until you actually give me a legitimate ticket. And he was like, no, you must pay. So I turned to Natalie and I'm like, Natalie, record. The police officer then saw us. He got so mad, he actually went in and grabbed the phone. And then Natalie was like, Mona, he's taking the phone. So me and Natalie were yanking because we had the phone on the stand and the police officer was yanking and we were just yanking back and forth until he actually won and like yanked it out. And I got so mad and he was getting really mad. So then I started speaking to him in English and I said, how dare you take that from us? I'm gonna make sure to call the United States Embassy. That made him stop in his tracks. And he was like, you're American? And I said, yeah, I'm American. And he was like, well, you're not supposed to be filming. I was like, why did you then stop us? He was like, do you work for human rights? And I was like, no, I'm here on vacation. Why did you stop us? He was like, oh, you weren't wearing a seatbelt. I was like, then let's, we can wear a seatbelt. Why did you stop us? Why are you trying to take money out of the driver? He's like, well, I don't have any problems with you. And I was like, okay, then give us back the phone and let us go or I swear I will call the United States Embassy. And he was like, okay, but yeah, I have to delete the footage. So he opens up and actually empties out the entire deleted files and folders. And then he let us go. And the driver was so grateful to us. And he said that the police officers do this regularly. They try to stop the people from the village to try to extort money from them. And he thanked me so graciously that I, I stood up for him. Mona makes it to the desert dunes of Team Laline. I, I'll follow you. Yeah, you know? okay, okay. It's easy for me to hear where you're going. She uses her cane as a hiking stick. I think this is really interesting. So in a really deserty landscape with a lot of sand, sometimes on the beach, I can't really use my cane normally. I can tap, but I find it to be more useful to almost use it like a hiking stick. Abdullah leads Mona through the desert. Abdullah, is this your first time having a blind person? Yeah, yeah. She yeah. slips on soft sand. Whoa. We're good. We're good. It's really no. soft. Yeah, because it's, it was raining yesterday. Ah. Yeah, okay. Finally, we made it to our first stop. A cliffside vantage point overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. The coastal rock formations of Team Laline. Abdullah stands by the cliff's edge. <laughs> Just to stand, it's, it's scary. Mona sits by the cliffside. They'll be worried for you. It's okay. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> the tour guides try to help Mona, then back away. <laughs> Crystal waves pound on the rocky cliffs. Mona dangles her feet on the cliff, and the tour guides worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, okay. Bismillah. Bismillah, yeah. Just do more. Oh, I'm scared. 
The tour guides plead with Mona. <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> For all of you watching, trust me, I was safe. I was careful. You are the first one who stayed there. You are the first one. Really? Yeah. Scared. I don't feel scared. It's because I can't see. <laughs> Mona and Abdullah head to the sand dunes. Oh, tell me, wait, tell me, how do you say how are you in Darija? Gideir. Gideir? Gideir, yeah. Gideir. Yeah. In Berber, it's like English. What is it? It's money, money can't get. If you say it in a soft way, it's money can't get. It's Berber, it's how are you? Money can't get? Money can't get, it's how are you? Money can't get. Money can't get. It's <laughs> <laughs> mean how are you in Berber? It's so peaceful. Tourists sand surf on top of another dune. Mona gets on a board. Oh, right here. Right here? Yeah. Ah. Oh. In this squad? Like this? Yeah. Like this, like this, like this. <laughs> how, how far down? I can't see, so I need... Yeah. Can I hear Can I hear one of you guys do it first? Okay, you can go Mr. Ashish first. Okay. The other tour guide surfs down the dune. Oh, it's very slow. Yeah, I really. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Smart. Okay. It's the smart one, okay? You keep your balance with your hand. Mona surfs down for the first time <laughs> and falls. Nice! <laughs> I like I did it! Yeah, I wanna yeah. do it again! <laughs> okay, I think now that I know how long it is, I can stay on the board. Mona hikes up the dune. I think coming up is the harder part. <laughs> she rides again. Oh! Oh I did it! Without falling! <laughs> what are your thoughts and feelings right now? Um, exciting, this is really cool. Like you gotta have to let go of control and ride the wave, or in this case, the dune. <laughs> Mona looking like a natural as she rides down the dune. Oh, I'm a pro! <laughs> At this point, Mona's so comfortable she wants to try it out while filming. Mona holds the camera before surfing down. Recording? Okay, let's do this. Wow, nice! I got it, you wanna check? Mona teaches Natalie to surf. That's it, and then you just balance. Like Bending that. her knees and waving her arms for balance. Natalie surfs down the dune. Good! They surf down the dune together. How are you feeling right now? Excited, exhilarated, but so tired of walking up the dunes. Mona trudging up the dunes. Mona surfs down the dune and then wipes out. <laughs> Bismillah. I'm tired. The sun sets on the sand dunes. Mona walks in the desert by the setting sun. After a long and amazing day surfing on the sand dunes of Agadir, it's time to head to the airport. Mona walks with her cane with a desert horizon behind her. Road trip. Mona dancing to the radio. This is Bar Bar music. Enjoy! On the beach with the pink and orange sky. The coastal highway in the nighttime. Next time on Planes, Trains and Canes. Mona outside of the airport. We got to the airport to catch our 9-10 flight and we got here at 8.30. Was it tight? A little bit, sure. But they were like, the plane has left and we couldn't get on the plane. We find out though from our friendly driver from Moroccan Secret Tours that they actually just left so they just didn't want to deal with us. So never fly Arabian Air. <laughs> Seated at the airport terminal. So eventually we saw that there was a flight back to Casablanca, which is where we flew from that morning. Let's make sure we get on the right plane. Bought the two tickets there for me and Natalie, and we found a train to Tangiers the next morning. Mona at the peak of a mountain overlooking the Gibraltar Strait. Credits, the Planes, Trains and Canes team. Mona Minkara, Natalie Guzzi, Benjamin Jimenez, Prithvi Rajmacha, Elizabeth Janney. Planes, Trains, and Canes is brought to you by the Graham Foundation and in part by the Massachusetts Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Special thanks to our dear friend and supporter of Planes, Trains, and Canes, Andy Rapista. If you'd like to see how you could help our team, email planestrainsandcanes at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe and press the bell for future notifications. Please tell your friends and your enemies and everybody else in between. Thanks. <laughs>